Can I tell you what happened on MTV this week? Uh, okay, well on Monday, on parental control, <laughs> the, these two parents, they hated the guy that the daughter was dating. She, he had like piercings and he wore like eyeliner and he had like dyed hair, but mostly he was really rude to the parents and that's why they wanted to hook their daughter up with somebody else. So it was the father and the stepmom. The stepmom had the same exact hair as the daughter that they wanted to hook up. I know. So they went ahead and they interviewed these guys and they found two guys for her. And, um, like, you know, the mom's choice came in and the boyfriend, Jason was his name, he goes, nice hair. And then the kid that the mom picked goes, nice makeup. And then they went ahead and went on their date. No, it went okay. Well, long story short, she ended up picking Jason anyway, which really made the parents mad, but I guess that's how these things go. Also on Monday on TRL, Not Carson Daly was interviewing some, I think he was interviewing Blink-182, and one of the members of Blink-182, he said, um, I hear that you like to drive yourself to places, you don't necessarily like to ride in limos. And the band member of Blink-182, I don't know which one it was, but he said, yes, I do enjoy driving myself around in my, in my Escalade. I have an Escalade, and that's what I like to drive myself around in. Um, so that interview went well. And then... <laughs> and then... This week on Laguna Beach, I didn't. I don't actually think I saw a new episode of Laguna Beach, but I saw lots of like older episodes. And there's this guy named Cameron on this season, which is a lot like Jason from last season. Like all the girls like him, but the viewer doesn't know why. Um, but you know how Jason was like the, you know, how, like that was his attitude. Cameron's just like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not attached to Like he enunciates a little bit better, but he's pretty much just Jason. And, um, I don't know if you heard, but you know how Lauren stayed home from, she, she didn't go to Paris, she stayed home to be with Jason? According to Tim Weekly, they broke up, so, bad choice, Lauren. However, in Laguna Beach, um, this season, the real Orange County, by the way, they, um, th they were talking about how they're still together. So I'm not sure which is true, because I'm not sure which came out first, the article or the episode. But, um, just a little something for you to think about. Next time you're going to go to Paris and you were wondering which to choose, Paris or the guy that mumbles. Always choose the guy that mumbles. Instead of um, furthering your career, go with the guy that mumbles. That's what I always say. And then um, this week, uh, on two days, um, well, they won. They won the game, which everyone was pretty excited about. And like... Prom week had already happened, and I'm not sure what's going to happen with Alex and Kristen, and you can tell that Goose is really jealous of Alex because he's had a crush on Kristen for quite a long time now. Um, Ross is the quarterback, and he had, a, he had a pretty good game, so that went well for him. Um, Max has something wrong with his back, but he still played anyway. Um, he, is, he is a trooper. Then the girls, the cheerleaders, were making the signs for like the big, the big game. I guess they, I guess it was some some sort of like rematch for this um, this football team that beat them in the past or something. And they're they're making these signs, and this girl is like, "How do you spell revenge? How do you spell revenge?" And she asks one of the other cheerleaders. The other cheerleader, cheerleader goes, "I don't know. I've never been a good speller. You know, I'm not the one to ask." And then like finally they're like, "Well, ask so and so. They're she's smart." So then so-and-so tells them how to spell revenge. And then a little while later, like, hi, sweet is S-W-E-E-T, right? I don't want to say sweat on the sign. <laughs> I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> so they were, you know, she was informed that sweet is indeed S-W-E-E-T. And um, so she, she wrote sweet on it. She wrote it cor correctly. She spelled it right. And I did not get a chance to see uh, my, sweet, my super sweet 16 this week but I'll let you know if I see it next week. And then the last thing I want to talk about is True Life, I'm Addicted to Crystal Meth, which I watched this week. Um, well, here's the kicker, ready? This guy is engaged to his girlfriend, right? They're only like 19 years old or something. And she says, you have to get sober or I'm out of here. 
So he locks himself in a motel for 15 days, he gets sober, he joins a program, he gets a sponsor, he's staying clean. She relapses, because I guess she used to be a cokehead or something. She like does coke again, right? Then the screen is like, two weeks later. She totally, like, not only had been doing drugs the entire time, but she slept with her dealer in their house. So he kicked her out, but he stayed sober, which tells you something. If you want to get sober, you lock yourself in a motel. That was this week on MTV.